It's time for this week's App of the Week with uh, Matt Porter. But not only App of the Week this week, but he's got something else to play with. So we've, we've got him a new signature tune this week. Vast expense. <laughs> uh, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Uh, we have an app, and you have got something to play with. I have. Are you yes. wearing it now? Yes, I am. Yes. Okay, so it's round the wrist. What is it? Uh, this is this particular um, gadget is actually a um, Samsung Gear Two smartwatch. Okay. Um, it's used in conjunction with a smartphone. So you can use it, obviously, as a, as a watch, and there's limited use on its own. But when it's connected to your mobile phone, and they are quite specific that they have to be Samsung mobile phones, um, it will provide you with lots of other functionality, such as um, it will act as a hands-free kit, so you can use it to make and receive phone calls. You can make it. You can send texts via speech. You can instruct it to send texts. It's got a, uh, a built-in camera, so you can take uh, pictures. There you are. Take one of you. And how do I look? A bit red. Uh, probably yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it'll also take video as well. Um, it will. It's got a heart rate monitor on it, so you can wow. take your heart um, rate. It's got a pedometer. It's got a load of fitness apps actually that are built into it, so you can use it to track your running, cycling, hiking, etc. And it receives email as well. Wow. Um, so, so rather than carting your phone around, which sometimes can be a bit of a pain in the neck. Um, you, you can get everything you want on that, can you? Or do you have to have the phone nearby in your pocket or something? You do. It's, ah, it, right, it, okay. it, it works using Bluetooth, so you connect within Bluetooth range, which is a few metres. Yeah. Um, so basically, yeah, you have it within within range. Um, if, for instance, you get a message come up, it will give you a preview of the message, um, and if you hit the button, it can you can say, open it on my phone, and if you tap on it, it will pop up on your phone. So, uh, you know, at Ooh. that message, so that's quite nice. It's quite whizzy, actually. It's quite a nice sort of expensive-looking bit of kit, um, which is on loan for right, two weeks. Okay. So you're going to give this a try? Yes, yeah, so I've got another one for the next couple of weeks, which okay. is which is Sony's. Sony have lent me one as well, yeah, okay. um, which is their take on, on hmm. smartwatches. So, uh, Are these really going to be the thing of the future? Well, we'll find out over the next couple of weeks, I guess. How yeah, you get I've, on with I've it? had it since Thursday, and... and? Um, uh, yeah, I think it's quite good, actually. <laughs> it, it's quite expensive, um, but I know I know that they are, if you're getting new handsets, they tend to um, be a free gift with the handset. If that's the case, then they're well worth having because okay. they're quite nice, actually, quite neat little. I suppose if you're you're out of function and you want to keep in touch, rather because it is rude to look at your mobile phone, yeah. but if you're just looking down at your watch... And yeah. you've got stuff coming in. People just think, oh, he's just looking at the time, you know. And actually, you could be um, doing whatever. You could be, yeah. yeah. Um, obviously, they, they've built a... This is the second version of this. The first version had the camera in the mm. strap, but this has actually got a camera there. Oh, it also acts as... You can use it as a TV remote control as well. So you program it to your TV and you can... It's quite useful for turning the telly off and things like that at night without looking for the control. You can just, just do it on your watch. You just go to the watch on remote and uh you can do what you like change channel etc uh it's got voice memo heart rate as i already said um there's obviously notifications so there's gmail calendar facebook Blimey. messages twitter all on a watch yeah it's quite neat really it's it's how quite much nice. is it uh, i believe about 249 pounds okay i mean that's that <laughs> Actually, you would pay that for a decent watch. Yeah. Does it tell the time? <laughs> it does. Checking? It does at the moment. Okay. It's got that watch face on it, but yeah. you can actually, yeah, you can right actually well. um, select a number of different watch yeah. faces. It can be analog or digital, and you can put the weather on there because it does the weather as well. I thought it would be more expensive than that. Um, yeah, I would probably, I would say they're probably not making a great deal of money on them. Um, these things tend to be a... I mean, you have to have the mobile phone in order yeah. to use it, so it is tied in. It's, um, uh, But that seems to be the way that they're going at the moment, so yeah. You, uh, at the moment, you're clearly enjoying it. I can see with the look on your face and the way you're just sort of flashing it around. Um, but novelty, could it wear off? It could do. Um, we'll see in a couple of weeks. Yes, I think we probably mm. will. Yeah. OK, so there we are. We'll see how these smart watches fare over the next couple of weeks. That's it, yeah. And uh, whether they're worth investing in or not. Indeed, yeah.
Um, but the novelty factor alone is um, keeping you quiet. I it's think, quite it? good. You raise your hand up and it turns the watch face on and things like that. You know, there's lots of things in there. It's quite <laughs> clever, really. All right, on to our app of the week this week. We have the uh, World Cup beginning on Thursday night. England's first match is on Saturday night. Yep. And uh, we'll be getting World Cup-tastic on this show uh, on Friday because we're out on Thursday. So that's our big build-up day on uh, Friday. And, uh, dear listener, I'm, I'm looking to recruit recruit someone for each country so if you're from spain or you're from portugal or whatever the countries are that are in the world cup i haven't started collecting the world cup stickers yet so i'm still not 100 percent sure who's there and who's not uh, but we will be looking to find and recruit people from each of those countries living in suffolk and if we can't find them then uh, your tenuous links <laughs> yeah, to Brazil, right. those kind of things. But uh, you've got a World Cup app for us. I have. This this week we are looking at, um, or we've picked FIFA. FIFA's um, official World Cup app uh, seemed to be the, the right one to choose, although there are a number, a number of other ones out there. Um, Sony actually do a very nice one, which I was looking at this morning. But FIFA, yeah, basically at the moment it's... The news, you know, basically the latest news on what's happening um, in the run-up to the World Cup. Um, but I would suggest that later on it will... And it has videos, mm. photos, um, information about the World Cup and also the rankings of the teams um, as the... As the um, as the tournament goes on, I would assume it jumps into life and starts feeding us live information about the different matches and what's going on. So uh, it doesn't have a, a, a it doesn't have a link in there to 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 decide who's going to host the next World Cup though. <laughs> <laughs> I think Russia are probably okay. The, the heat, I mean, there are issues over Russia, of course, at the moment as well. But the heat's very much literally on Qatar, isn't yeah, it? After that's right. that, so uh, so that, yeah, it's dominating really. That's quite a nice little app. Like I said, there's also one that I had a look at, which is um, part of Sony Xperia Lounge, and that has quite a nice uh, right, layout okay. yep. on there. So I picked England there, and it shows you the different matches that are due in their group, um, and then video related and, and information relating to the um, to that group or to the team that okay. you pick. So that seemed quite a nice one as well. But for, for for the purposes of today, it's the FIFA app. Okay, so FIFA app, it's fifa.com f- slash it. mobile. That's correct, yeah. Uh, fifa.com slash mobile if you want to uh, have everything at your uh, fingertips to do with the World Cup, uh, which gets underway on Thursday night, of course. fifa.com slash mobile. And that's our app of the week this week. England's chances then, Matt? Yeah, I yeah, think okay. they've, got, they've got some yeah, sort of chance. They've got a chance, I suppose. I did, see, I did see a little thing on Facebook someone posted yesterday where they were getting off the plane and the, and the, and the um, caption was, leave the engine running, we won't be long. <laughs> That's harsh. <laughs> I That's know. harsh. I think they'll do all right, I actually. Think, I think we'll be OK. Yeah. I think we really will. Good to see you. And uh, Matt's going to road test those, uh, those two watches. Uh, it's the Samsung Gear 2, yeah. uh, which you link to a Samsung phone. And the other one is the These, It's Sony the Sony one. Smartwatch 2. Yeah. Okay, and do you have to link that to anything? That's also linked to... Um, I, I, I did say to Sony, can you send me a smartwatch too? And they said, yes, we can. Yep. We can also send you a phone. So they actually lent me a phone as well oh, right, for, okay. for a few weeks. So, uh, But I don't think it's a necessity. I think yeah. they just didn't want me testing it on a different device. Okay, all right. We'll see how those both go and whether they're worth investing in in the future. Smart wristwatches, uh, which are very clever bits of kit, but are they just a novelty?